Hey you guys, it's Peter! <laughs> Cut. And I'm back! <laughs> scene. Scene. I love that. In, uh, what's the show? Uh, oh my god, Colleen Ballinger's haters back off when she's like, scene, when she does the monologue. <gasps> it's Peter! And I'm back! Of course I'm back! I'm not going anywhere. I mean, come on you guys. I'm like, so YouTube famous now. <sighs> I am like, it's so hard, you guys, when all these people want to be my friends, all these big YouTubers, Tyler Oakley's been calling me all day long, as if, I wish. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? I have decided, I was watching my vlog back on my way home from last night, and I was like, I am so fat. Like, and you know that I started my video today, and I truly am going to call my vlog tomorrow, I think. I am the new Amberlynn Reed, just because. I don't even really care. And I do truly feel like I am, like, turning into the Amberlynn Reeds of the worlds. And uh, Amberlynn Reeds of the worlds. You know you are famous when your name is an adjective. <laughs> Amberlynn Reed is no longer just Amberlynn Reed. She's an adjective. So anyway, uh, associated with day old stew. I can smell our house from here. Let me see. I'll tell you, if I was walking into Amberlynn Reed's house, I'll tell you what it would smell like. Well, of course, day old stew, dirty socks, uh, laffy taffy stuck to the bottom of somebody's shoe. <laughs> Let's see what else. Can of cat food open on the counter with the tin thing back still back. <laughs> I could just go on and on and on. And probably, uh, I don't know, air freshener, like some bad air freshener. So anyway, I don't know, like rose or something or something fruity. Dragon fl flower. Um, so I have, it's Tuesday, and you know, on Tuesdays what I do, I read Star Magazine, but guess what? I'm reading In Touch. I always say intake, but I'm reading In Touch today because here be the homophobe, redneck gay, he's redneck gay all day. For Kim Kardashian, don't you think we look so much alike? I think we look so much alike. People are like, you're the Kim Kardashian of YouTube. I'm like, seriously, you know I am. All up in the booty. But anyway, about the fatness, I did want to say this. That I think I'm going to be like Oprah. And do you remember when like Oprah used to wear like the really baggy clothes? And then she came out at the season premiere of her new season when she had lost all that weight. And she like took the fat dress off. And she's like, look at me, I'm thin now, right? I mean, she's not anymore. But back then, do you remember that? She was like a size one or something. That is, so, do they even make a size one? Maybe size two? But anyway, size zero, size two? I don't know. But that's going to totally be me. I'm just going to one day like take off this gray shirt and she's going to be like chiseled abs. And you guys are going to be like, oh my God. He is so fine. What happened to him? I'm. So anyway, and then my Instagram will just blow up because I'll be doing naked pictures and speedos and all kinds of stuff and people just be like, follow me around the world. Hey, sending me all these kind of products and all this kind of stuff. People, you either want up here or you don't want up here. Come on. You know you want to get up here for the Star Magazine. PB loves the Star Magazine, but we're not reading Star today. We're reading Intake. He said, oh my God, Kim Kardashian was dumped by who? Well, Kanye. So let's just get right into this magazine. I just went to the grocery store specifically for this. And I was going to get the Star Magazine, but on the cover of it was with Prince, what's his name? Prince William, is that his name? And his wife, I don't know, Lady. I'll just call her Lady. I can never remember what her name is. Melissa, Lady, I don't know, Charlene. But anyway, she's having a girl, and that was on the cover of it, and I was like, eh, boring. So I want to read something that's kind of fun. And then, of course, over here was dumped at her lowest point, the explosive final fight. Hysterical Kim locks herself in her home for days. I mean, she wouldn't come out for days, not even to eat for that big booty. The ultimate betrayal. I guess she won't be the first lady when Kanye runs for president in 2020. <gasps> but I will be the president. Peter for president. Karina Kaboom even said it. Oh, my God, did I say her name? All right, so let's just get right into this. I'm so excited. Let's just see. Who wore it better? Erica Jane, that's my husband's favorite Real Housewife, if you ever, if you watch that, um, or Lily Collins, well, Lily Collins wore it better, and th these are so boring, you guys, do you even really care about all this? I don't, so let's get right into this. Sharon's pooches fly first class, so Sharon Osbourne's dogs apparently fly first class, anyway, it looks like a private jet to me, would you call a private jet first class? I'd call it chartered plane, or private Jane, private Jane, I wouldn't call it first class, would you? I would fly first class all day long. Machines work out for him. Jonathan. Oh, who's that Jonathan guy? He's the one that's friends with uh, Kim Kardashian's best friend. I don't like him. I think he's real weird. Anyway, so let's move on. We care less about them. We already see this magazine's going to be all about the Kardashians. Patrick's Malibu Mansion. Patrick Dempsey, 50. He is so fine for 50. Can we just show you right there? 
But like I said, if you guys ever want to go back and see that movie, Some Girls, he's completely naked in it. And let me just tell you, nubs. Okay, so anyway, but his crib cost $6.4 million. I cannot wait to have a Malibu mansion like that. Listen, I'm a premonition, right, premonition right here. Uh, I'm going to talk about this. When I am rich and famous on YouTube, and you know it's going to happen, I'm going to be so YouTube famous. I mean, people are going to be begging. I'll call Trisha up, and I'll say, hey, Trisha, you want to come over to my pad? Patrick Dempsey used to live here, and she'll be like, well, I'd love to, but didn't he have a small nub? And I'll be like, yeah, but baby, this is Big Dick Central. <laughs> So anyway, oh my God, let's move on. Mary J. Blige's ex wants how much? Do not come for Mary. I'm not even going to grace that with reading it. I love Mary J. Blige. I will not read anything negative about her all day long. Mark Wahlberg, look at him. Do you remember him from back in the day? I mean, he is a phenomenal actor, and he was the Calvin Klein original model. He is so sexy. How old is he? 45. He's my age. Don't you think we just look exactly the same? I, I was really thinking about this the other day. I was like, if I lose all this weight and I do get into shape... I'm going to shave my beard and color my hair back brown again. Do you guys think I should? Do you think that would be really hot? Or do you think I should keep the white? Look, I got my hair cut today. Do you think I should keep the white and, or do you think, and keep the beard white and shave the beard? When I, this is when I lose weight. When I have, my chins are gone. My chins. Or do you think I should shave the beard and color the hair back brown again? Or I guess I could color it blue or whatever color I wanted to. Who cares? It's, not, it's nobody's business with mine. Tom with Dakota in 2005. Tom, Dakota's hero or a heel? Tom Cruise, who cares about him? Nobody. Okay, do you think do you care about him, PB? He's like, who? He's a Scientologist. We don't mess with that craziness. Fun in the Sun. Twins Harper and Gideon celebrate their October 12th birthday. Patrick Harris, Neil Patrick Harris, and David Burka. Is David Burka have white hair now? What is going on? David Burka does kind of have white hair. David Burka yelled across the street during the Super Bowl at a party that we had gone to. He looked at my husband. He goes, you are hot or something like that. I can't remember what he yelled across the street at my husband. Reese Witherspoon. I just love her so damn long. Oh, my God. Tom Cruise has now been in here twice, you guys. Twice. So, apparently, Tom Cruise is paying for ads up in the In Touch magazine. In Touch. Touch. I think not. Somebody asked underneath one of my videos the other day, they said, um, why does everybody call him the Janis Joplin of YouTube? Are you new? Because I'm the Janis Joplin of fucking YouTube is why, dude. Because I am passing on freedom and love and spirit and peace all over the world, okay? King of YouTube right here, Shane Dawson said so. Anyway, don't think I'll ever forget that. I think I'm going to have t-shirts made that say, Shane Dawson said I was the king of YouTube. Would you guys wear those? I got to get in my... T oh my lord, who is this? Now work... Nice work if you can get it. Rachel McAdams. I love Rachel McAdams so much. This is her on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Justin Hartley. I don't... This is us star, Justin Hartley. My husband watches that show. He loves that. I know in here it's going to talk about... Uh, oh, my Lord. Look at that. Lady Gaga wears a wacky pink and purple ensemble after a successful... Look at her. Don't you just love Lady Gaga so much? I am obsessed. Obsessed. Joanne. Dad as fuck available on iTunes. I just closed my magazine. I am obsessed with that Lady Gaga Joanne. Who is that? Looking good, Liam Hemsworth. Mm-hmm, baby. Oh, who's that old man right there? Uh, we see you two, Amy Adams and husband Darren. Oh, look at him. Isn't he sexy? Oh, look at all. Handy dandy. George and Amal Clooney. See, like, these magazines said, like, six months ago they're getting a divorce. They're not getting a divorce. Pee -pee stop. Whatever you're doing back there is driving me nuts. Okay. And I do seriously look. People say I look like George Clooney. Do you see that? Do you see any resemblance whatsoever? I mean, people like literally in gas stations would be like, you look just like George Clooney. I'm like, really? I mean, when I wear, do my hair and a polo shirt, like, because that's what he's dead killing for. So anyway, Katy Perry, who'd care? Miley Cyrus. Are you, look at Miley Cyrus. She is a joke. I can't stand that Miley Cyrus. I don't like her at all. Like, I just think she's like, <laughs> she's so weird. She could be so sexy. Like, her, she's the hottest body in the entire world. And listen, I think the girl can sing. I love some of her music. But the rest of it is weird. It's like she just sits in a room and, like, smokes too much weed and eats raver candy and stuff. Like, those bracelets. It's like she's sitting in a room, like, high as a kite going, Arr! what Instagram picture should I put together? Oh, my God. Should I put a cat in there with, like, wearing, I don't know, some kind of Chinese sunglasses or something? She's just a weirdo. Julianne Moore. I love Julianne Moore so much. Oh my God, I think she is one of the hottest women to ever grace this planet. Who's that? Jennifer Aniston, could care less. Who's that? Titus Burgess. I don't know who that is. 
Um, do you guys like Jennifer Aniston? I don't care for her, not one bit. New abuse claims against Brad. Look at this. Of course, they make Brad look like a total child molester. You know he's not abusing his kids. He loves those kids. I love, mm, I love Brad so much. Ellen and Portia headed for a split. Look at this. They make her look like Portia looking like she's looking off at somebody else. And Ellen's like, bitch, I'm going to get you and you ain't taking none of my money. I, you know, I bet Ellen DeGeneres has got to be like one of the nicest people in the entire world. She has worked so hard. I mean, that she used to do, I, I almost said something mean. That girl used to do stand-up. Her stand-up is absolutely hilarious. That one stand-up she does when she says she met God and then she was like uh, talking about that poster about like the footprints in the sand and she was like well I was riding your back do you guys remember that stand up I mean Ellen DeGeneres is like hands down I swear to god one of the top three funniest people in the entire world next to Rosie and Barr and me that's the three and the three funniest people in the world are in this order Roseanne, Peter Mon, and then Ellen DeGeneres Ellen get over it I'm funnier than you you know it I'm coming for your job oh can we talk about something for a second I want to talk about Michael Buckley you guys I have joked on here before about him making these videos and talking about where he's like masturbating and he's naked and stuff like that. But I am like a Michael Buckley Uber fan. If I ran into Michael Buckley at any kind of YouTube thing or saw, do you see I even had to put my magazine down because this is so serious? Anything, I would be like, I love him so much. I loved his gossip and his gig that he did forever, right? I went to his channel last night, you guys. I have been on YouTube for, I don't know, two months. I'm not saying this is a bragging way. I'm saying that this is a really sad thing. My videos are getting more views than his videos are getting now. Like, he did this whole reinvention thing, and I don't know what's going on with him. He said he didn't want to do the gossip as much on Walk the Buck and all this kind of stuff. But like, he is not getting any views, you guys. You need to go to Michael Buckley's channel. He has two channels, and you guys need to subscribe to him and start following his videos again. I'm really worried about that. I can't imagine doing YouTube for so long and having that be your prime job or whatever. And then like all of a sudden wake up and you're getting like 3,000 views on a video that you're posting like every three days. I mean, I know for a fact because of the, what you make, he ain't making any money off YouTube, but that's the case. And I just think it's devastating. He has like millions of subscribers. He has like 1.1 million subscribers on one of his channels and nobody's watching his videos. I think that is so sad, you guys. I mean, he is putting creative, well done content about gossip, about super pop stars, and he is getting 3,000 views, and somebody is doing like, I mean, you know, name any of these people that are doing drama channel BS, and they're getting 200,000 views on a video and all this kind of stuff, or 50,000 views, or I mean, even Karina Kaboom, she gets like, I, I said I'd never talk about her again, look, she got two nick call outs in my video. Don't go to her channel, I'm just saying. But she gets like 20,000 views a video. She's getting like five times more than Michael Buckley. That is sad. Look at this magazine just falling to pieces. I mean, these magazines are a piece of shit. PP, aren't they? You know that all day long. Oh, Lady Gaga and Taylor talking again. I wondered why you never hear about Lady Gaga and that guy. Were, they were engaged, so what happened? Bad romance no more. Lady Gaga and former fiance. Oh, are they not engaged anymore? I guess I was slow to that news. They recently started talking again every day, says an insider, adding that Gaga 30 apologized to Taylor 35 for her behavior prior to the July breakup. I think he is so sexy. He could get it. I love him. Don't you think he is so hot? Taryn forced into rehab. Taryn Manning is getting the help she needs. I love her so much as Orange is the New Black. She's incredible. She does maybe need... I mean, if she's doing meth, that's going to make me so sad that she just fell into that character so much. Receiving treatment for a drinking problem. Well, Taryn was told by production on the Netflix hit that if she didn't get her act together, she would be off the show. Why? I mean, her sh character on the show is a drag act. Anyway, she's rolled that right into the character. Right, PP? I mean... But that is sad. And as a person in recovery, I think that everybody deserves to have a second chance and a ninth chance and a twentieth chance. We don't give people enough chances in this world. Breaks my heart. Really does. Anyway, let's see. I may be little, but I have big dreams, she said. I don't watch that show. I don't watch those little people shows. I did used to watch that show about those people that own that pumpkin farm, but it made me so sad. Now they're getting divorced and they're both bitter. They're bitter ass people towards each other. It makes me so sad. How tan can they get the Oompa Loompa effect? I mean, do they just call somebody out? Did y'all see that video that Trisha Paytas did about how she used to tan? I do love a good tanning bed. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to lie about it all day long. Valentino, 84. He still looks like he tans. I mean, you know he wears a Speedo up right around that house. Rachel Hunter, Donald Trump, 70. Donald Trump goes to a tanning bed as a present. Do we want a present that goes to a tanning bed? I mean, I guess I don't really care. I go. Lindsay Lohan. Look, they always pick the most boogered picture of Lindsay Lohan. You think she just sits in her house and is like, I can't do it anymore. My God, when are they making the Mean Girls reunion show? I need another hit. Well, they're not. They're not going to do it, so.
Oh, that's, guess what? My husband sounds like I did. Finish up this magazine. Anything else to say? Big buns. What could go wrong? Big buns. I like big buns and I just can't lie. So anyway, you guys, this magazine was boring as shit this week. That's why I always buy Star Magazine. That lady at the grocery store, she even said to me, don't buy intake. That magazine sucks. And $2.99 I waste on that magazine. So anyway. Do you hear my dogs in the background? They drive me crazy. I love my dogs, but they do drive me crazy. Anyway, follow me on all my social media. I respond and subscribe to my channel. I put out daily content, like lots, lots of it. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.